Manchester United nil, Chelsea won. Obviously, Nat here has some differing opinions from everybody else in terms of the players that should have played, who shouldn't yeah. have played. What's your thoughts, Nat? For me, I am proud. I just want to say that that's not taken away from anything. For me, it was always like a bonus, whatever happened here today. But I feel like today we were all over them. We dominated them. <laughs> I'm disappointed in that. I feel like we should have taken advantage. I do, I've heard what Moyo and, and, and Flex have said and stuff before, and I do agree a tiny bit about Leah, but I just feel like, you know, for me, the player that needed to play the most was Vilda. Vilda, the way she played for me uh, versus Spurs, you know, getting the balls in behind, the way Tooney plays with Vilda, the link up that they do in that Spurs. She's our best midfielder, in my opinion, and I just don't understand why she's not playing, especially in a game like this. And I think I don't understand why he takes off uh, Paris, puts uh, Rachel Williams as a 10. Fair enough, if you're going to play Rachel Williams, play her up top. That's what she's about, getting the big heads on the ball. You know, fair enough, I get it, getting stuck in, but not as a 10, not in a place where you need the creativity. And I just feel like, to be honest, when Paris came off and we grew into that game, Chelsea were changing it. We just lost all our creativity, I think. And it's frustrating with me now with this because I'm seeing it time and time. And, you know, Vilda's a quality player. Let's not be around the bush. Like, why is she not playing? And I just feel like it just needs, you know, he's done well getting us here. He's done well. We've made Champions League. I'm, I'm delighted. But we need quality players to be playing, you know, not just this one. And I can trust it. You know, we should be able to trust everyone. That's why you're a manager. You know? No, 100%. Obviously, quite a few subs he made today, but it's similar to the subs that he made at Kings Meadow. Mm. You mentioned that to me um, after the game. What do you think about, you know, the lack of being clinical, you know, not taking our chances? I think we could have been 2-0 yeah. up in the first half. We should have been. I mean, to be honest, I think that... I don't know why it wasn't... I mean, I know people are saying marginal. You know, yeah, you know, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't know. That was a goal. I don't know if that deflated us a bit, but to be honest, it shouldn't be. We were all over them. Leah should have scored in the first half. Russo should have scored. And it's all these things like... I think they are class players. I think they will, you know, will come good and will show it in the Champions League. But I just think they need to play with better players around them. And I think... You know, I love a lot of these players, like they like my family, but some of them aren't good enough. We need to admit, we need to, you know, the man talked about world class, world class. Well, who there can you say world class? For me, it's only honour, yeah. you know, it's only honour. And then we're sitting here scrambling around thinking, is she going to stay, is she not? You know, less of you, so I think she's borderline can get there, but I think with people around her, she needs to be, I think she plays better when she plays with England because there's Kira Walsh, there's this one, there's that one, you know? And I just think these are the levels of players that we need to be signing, retaining. And if we're not, we're just going to be here, oh, maybe we'll do this, maybe we'll do that. Yeah, we'll grow. Yeah, we'll add the experience. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. But, you know, it, we're getting closer and closer to Chelsea. But when it's close, not good enough, and we have to start saying it, you know, I'm, I'm fed up, I'm tired. Obviously, because uh, you've been following Manchester yeah, United women five years since they five were reassembled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what do you make of the growth that we've made over the last couple of years? Yeah. Especially like Casey Stone, who's, I think she she set, mm, she set the mm, stone for mm. us to really be here today yeah, and watching yeah. us in a final. I don't think I would have imagined that two no, years ago. No. I think it's it's amazing, uh, obviously. <laughs> uh, I think it's amazing what Casey's done. You know, I think she's built the foundation and like some of the, a lot of the players, you know, that we're talking about. But then. I look at a player like Jackie Gronin. I'm not saying, oh, you know, this and that, but that's a player for me that should have been here. Lauren James, a player that was our player. Alex Greenwood, we're talking about quality, England Lioness, you know, internationals. For me, I'm, 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 I think it's great that what we've done. And I think Ma needs a credit in that respect because he has taken them up that next level because it's sort of really Casey's team. He's playing a lot of Casey's players. But for me, I'm, I'm worried that we're losing these internationals. You know, like I said, we need to be retaining honour, we need to be retaining Russo, what's going on, and I mean, they're talking about, you know, Joel and Avram, he's the reason, even though he brought it back, um, the fact that he's not even investing at the level of a Chelsea, you know, this is Man United, we shouldn't be just, oh, well done, this and that, we should be winning it, and then this is what they promised, they promised all this five-year plan, we're going to win the league in five years, that's what they promised us five years ago, so yeah, I'm glad that we've got to the Champions League now, but... You know, we shouldn't be celebrating Champions League, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I'm happy, but we sh it should be better than that. It should be winning trophies, it should be, you know, getting this FA Cup here. Because they were there for the taking, in my opinion. They didn't know what to do first half, and I think if we go in 2 0 up or something, you know, who knows changes what happens? The changes the game, definitely yeah, if you're in 1 0. It's just unlucky today, but it's really on to the next one. We just mm. have to have to look up WSL, two yeah. big games, Manchester City, Derby, yeah. Liverpool, yeah, massive, massive, massive games. Not just for Champions League yeah, football, yeah, for yeah. what hopefully could be a quest, yeah. quest for the title. Yeah. So, it's early to look up from yeah, here. Yeah, There's yeah. some positives to take away. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted. I'm happy. I'm, I think this is the best 
football that I've seen from us in a long time. So obviously I'm, I'm happy because my friend was really crying. Like, and then listen, listen, I get it. I was crying, mate. I was really crying because it is that heartbreaking when you're losing, you know, when you lose a final. So I get it. And, but at the same time, that wasn't like the 6-1 six, six I've seen. That wasn't like the, the one last year at King's Meadow I've seen. Even potentially was a bit better than the King's Meadow that we've just seen. Yeah. But a bit better isn't good enough. That's the only thing I'm saying. And listen, if that's me negative, that's me negative. But like I said, I'm, I'm delighted. I'm happy. I love them girls. I've seen a lot of the players' family. And, you know, it's, that's what it's like here. Community, everyone's together, you know. People helping each other out, get tickets. That's what women's football is sort of about. Like, you can bump into people and just chat. And that's why I've always loved coming here and stuff. So I'm... I'm happy in that respect, but yeah, this semi final, you know, just second isn't good enough. You know, Man United, we have to be better, but I love it, man. Second ain't good enough. Yeah, nice yeah. Man. Thank, Thank you. you.